Hey, what's going on guys? It's Fury. Today we're going to be talking about polymorph immunity because as we all should know, polymorphing is literally the most dangerous thing in the entire game. It is the one thing that can just take the most powerful of god runs and just end it immediately. Even if you have an insanely high amount of HP, getting polymorphed at the wrong time will very easily end your run. And the developers never added an outright polymorph immunity perk, to which I am very thankful because it is nice to have this ultimately devastating danger that can end even God runs, and that requires a little bit more intimate knowledge of the game in order to negate. That being said, Polymorph Immunity is still somewhat tied to a perk. As you can see right here, the Iron Stomach perk. A lot of people already know this, I've covered it myself in other videos, but never in the depth I'm going to cover it in this video. This actually does not require Iron Stomach right here. If you kill a Poly Mage and then eat its corpse made out of stinky meat, you get polymorph immunity. Each corpse you eat gives you 180 seconds. Even without Iron Stomach, you can eat quite a few of these and get a pretty long duration of poly immunity. What Iron Stomach does is obviously it allows you to eat just infinite amounts of them to increase the duration of your poly immunity to hours if you want. That's the first type of poly immunity, in my opinion, the most reliable because it gives you an actual countdown timer for your buff that you can look at at any time to see how much longer you're under the effects of this immunity. However, these polymorph masters are not exactly very common enemies and you're only going to mostly encounter them in a few areas of the game, namely Fungal Caverns, Temple of the Art, Wizard's Den, and maybe also the... Uh, magical temple. So if you're able to get Iron Stomach in the beginning of your run, then you could potentially have Polymorph Immunity from that moment. How? Well, let's take a look at this. I'm just going to empty all three types of poly into these convenient receptacles at the Nullifying Altar. Keep in mind that I'm doing this just for the sake of this video. The Nullifying Altar has nothing at all to do with Polymorph Immunity. When you have Iron Stomach, you can take a sip out of a flask of poly in order to gain a short duration of immunity to that type of poly. So taking a sip of normal poly makes you immune to normal poly. Taking a sip of chaotic poly makes you immune to chaotic poly. Taking a sip of unstable poly makes you immune to unstable poly. And with each sip, Iron Stomach gives you exactly 20 seconds of invulnerability to that type of poly. Again, whether that be normal poly, chaotic, or unstable. It's important to realize that drinking flasks does not give you immunity to the poly shots fired by the poly mages or by Colmy. The only thing that gives you immunity to these is eating the flesh of the polymorph masters. Those stinky meat burgers. So if taking one sip from a flask gives you 20 seconds of immunity, how much does drinking an entire flask give you? Well, each sip is 10% of the flask, so it should be 200 seconds, but I sat and timed it with all three varieties of poly, and to test if there were any inconsistencies between these, and there are none. So what that means is drinking an entire flask of normal poly gives you the same exact amount as drinking an entire flask of chaotic poly or unstable poly. Again, remember that drinking normal poly gives you immunity to only normal poly, drinking chaotic poly gives you only immunity to chaotic poly, and drinking unstable poly gives you only immunity to unstable poly. Anyway, when all was said and done, we have exactly 3 minutes and 20 seconds of immunity. So now we know exactly how much we get. Anyway guys, I hope you find this useful for your future runs. Good luck with those god runs, and laugh in the face of all things poly. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and happy noiting.